came to work and I saw that. Yes, it's so much fun and it's I definitely beautiful. want to show everyone over these holiday season how to amp up apps. Yes. So everyone's familiar with arancini, right? Yes, well so it's we a have, ball of rice. Yeah, so you yeah. essentially make a risotto, then you fold yeah. in panko and cheese. Okay. And different flavorings, and then you get this really cool rice ball, you know, really nice and delicate. That looks so good. But it's not good enough, okay? okay. It's not good enough. So what we're going to do is, we're going to start a risotto together, and then we're going to infuse it with lobster and brie. Okay, so that, that's what's okay. going to happen. So first, we need to start off with making a risotto, and I've made a lot of risotto. You know, when I first started yeah. training as a chef, I had to do a lot, so... I found different ways of doing mm. it and adding really cool stuff, which we'll get to later in the show as well. But onions go in. Yep, you starting can with add a hot, in. hot pan. Yeah, you can go pretty hot. Generally, when you make risotto, you don't want it too hot to brown the onions. But because we're going to be frying this after, I don't mind. Okay. And I'm just more excited that the pan's hot enough this time. Right? So that's good. <laughs> All right? We got your back. Garlic, it's going to be in there for a while. I just use my palm and crush it. If you, You've seen me chop enough garlic on this show. So. Yeah. I'm just no, that's crush good. Like that uh, anything right that in. makes it a little bit le lazier and easier for us, we want to know those tips. So if you don't have to do the, the fine chopping, we don't want to do it's it. It's always important to have a good cup of joint. I'm just kidding. That's risotto rice. <laughs> so that's going to go in there. That's our borio. You okay. can use our borio. Carnaroli is also a really good substitute. Yeah. So this is risotto 101, essentially. After you toast the rice off, what's the first thing that goes in? The wine. White wine. Dry white wine. <laughs> Okay. I got it right. It's never too early to sample it, make sure it's good. <laughs> this is going to stir around now, and we need to add stock back and forth. So once the white wine goes in, you need to reduce that to au sec, which is dry. Okay. It's really important that we do that. And then I'm going to pour in a little bit of stock. And as you know with risotto, you need to pour the stock in as it disappears. So as right. it gets, not burns, yeah. as it cools down, or not cools down, but as it evaporates, you, you want put to continue. more in. And it smells amazing already. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit labor intensive, right? You've this, got to be on it. You can't just go and watch soap operas now. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I'm going to be you honest. you got to stay on it. If you want to impress people, you have yeah. to put in a little bit of time. There's really no shortcuts. Okay. And if there are shortcuts, they're, they're going to know. Yeah, they're going to okay. know. So this so stirs around. It. So eventually, exactly. So eventually okay. what you end up with, after you add in your cheese and it cooks out and cheese, the rice yes. inflates, you end up with risotto, just like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this into here. Just let, actually, let's add it all because mm -hmm. you know I'm hungry. <laughs> and then lobster that I've cooked off yesterday. Nice. So this is going to go in, and I keep it really, really rough when I chop it. Yeah. So this is just the last night I made this. Well, also I'm surprised think about it made it here actually. Well, it's good. Yeah, you didn't need it all. It, well, think about making everything in advance that you can make in advance because get, you want to sort of get, have a, a stress-free. Get these all formed ahead of time. That's right. I'm going to add in some brie now, and I'm mm. just going to rough chop this through. The more Genius. brie you add, the more cheesy it's going to be, the more delicious it's going to be. Yeah. So this goes into here. Um, the risotto is already very well seasoned, but I need to add a couple more things, like I'll add in some panko into here, okay. just like that. And now, before I start forming this, I want to jump into the other app that we're doing, because once I put the gloves on, they're going to stay on, okay? Okay, got it. So, crab cakes are here. Yeah. Everyone is familiar with their standard crab cake. Yeah, I mean, that's even good as is. It's so tasty and so yes. delicious, but it's not good enough, okay? <laughs> so. What we're going to do with this guy here is we're going to add in our crab claw meat. If you don't want to break down the crabs, just go and buy it. Okay. I guess. You never say that. I know. You that's why I feel never bad say saying it, that. right? So that goes no, in here. No, give us a shortcut. Thank you. And just now go we're, buy it. And now we're going to add in shrimp, okay? Okay. So shrimp goes in there as well. If you have... Come on, shrimp. There you go. <laughs> that goes in there. Uh, I have chopped up jalapeno. That's oh, going nice. to go in there. Okay. I have... What's... Oh, yeah. The Tracy game. Okay. What's this? It is paprika. It is cayenne, exactly. Yes. Cool. Yes, cayenne. cayenne, fresh cut, black pepper. Yeah. Valentina hot sauce or just any hot sauce that you like. Okay. Even if you want to use anything that's, that's gonna okay. That's going to have a lot of bite. It's going to have mad bite, but that's yeah. what we want. You want someone to come over to your house, you want to impress them. This is amped up appetizers. Right. This isn't like Tuesday night, you know, yeah. appetizers. No, it's so this, special. This is the real deal. Yeah. Lastly, coconut. Oh. Coconut goes in there, okay? Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. So now you can put on your gloves. Okay. Because okay. really, you're going to really, do both. Really excited. And remember, don't forget risotto as it evaporates. I don't know if you want to get that a shot of that. Totally should have been my job, but there, whatever. There it is, okay? I'm so just going to eat this ball burnt. of rice. We're going to add in a little bit more of that. 
Yeah, no, eat the lobster and brie one. This is amped up. I know, but I don't want to ruin the shot. We have to take the okay, shot of that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And now, guys, it's really simple. All you have to do is form, and then we'd make a quick breading station as well, which you kind of have here. Okay. I have so many bowls here everywhere. It's multi, well, it's a multi-step process. That's so you it. make the thing, you make the regular app, and then you bump it up by putting things like lobster and crab in it, and That's then you've it. got to bread it, and then do you deep fry it after that? Uh, I shallow fry it, and I'm going to demonstrate okay. that quickly here. So right. I'm just going to make a quick, form a quick ball here. Mm -hmm. um, wet hands working with risotto damp hands not wet hands damp yeah. hands work really really well mm -hmm. but I'm going to pop this into our flour yeah like this super simple and again do this the night before it goes into our egg wash and after the egg wash it goes into our pan panko exactly three letters <laughs> yes. goes into our pan Go. okay that's a good one all right so roll this guy around again keep one hand dry one hand wet right unless you're filming city line and then <laughs> this goes into our preheated pan okay lovely so that's there like that I'm going to remove the gloves that was a little bit short-lived because I remember I had a salmon uh, sorry a crab cake already formed okay. so we have this guy and I'm gonna drop this in now and this is gonna fry till golden brown everywhere now if you want to introduce other things into the uh, the arancini mm -hmm. um, sweetie drops would be really good uh, you know pickled jalapeno anything like yeah. that would really really pop you want things in there that are really exciting okay. and have big flavor uh, a condiment or you know something really really exciting to add to the crab cakes would be a mango and pineapple salsa, which See, would be really, really fun. I was going to ask you what you had on top, and that's okay. nice. It's a nice little bit of sweet there. Exactly. So you don't have to with, dip it in anything. So with the knife that you cut the brie with, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a joke. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna, but that's actually how we would do it at home. Yeah. You're going right? to chop up. You're going to chop up some mango, and you want to get it really, really fine, as fine as you can, because you can see when I put it on there, it's really, really nice and cubed. But uh, you're gonna add this into your bowl. Really, really simple. Because and you also have a little, is that, what's on top of it? Is that a peanut? Oh, uh, where, sorry. Oh, that is a roasted peanut. Yep, so nice. pan on low, medium heat. Yeah. And keep that pan moving, and you'll toast for about five minutes. Beautiful. Into this, I'll add in, I'm thinking I might be blocking something there. Into this, I'll add in some no, pineapple. Good. And you wanna get really fine cubes, because the finer, the better. Right. And we're going to add some salt and pepper. Maybe some cilantro would you be You keep nice going with that, and we're going to show them the final one more time. Um, one thing I absolutely love about how you did this is the plating. I mean, look at this guy. Ah, deep fried lobster head. Yeah. Deep fried head.